Engineer 775, man, we hit the ground running today. We got to a new job, a uh, ground mount solar job. Uh, got the inverter hung up. Willis is working on, uh, we put, we ran some one inch flex up into these panels. This is gonna be our critical loads panel. This is gonna be our grid panel. And we're gonna put a transfer switch in. Gotta move some things around to make some room. We'll have four arc batteries. And it's gonna be a nice little system. We're putting in a 20 kW propane generator with this system. And um, I think that's it. So uh, we'll be back tomorrow and get this thing roughed in. Maybe even hook up those batteries and get them charging. That would be awesome. Okay, let me show you the, I'll show you, I'm trying not to give away where we are or license plates, you know the drill. And uh, I'm already busting through. Love the excavator, it finds everything in the ground. Already blasted through some irrigation we gotta fix. We got power lines to miss, but we're putting up a 13 kilowatt array. And uh, oh, I'm busting stuff already, but it's gonna, it's it's still cooking. It's late, it's six something, and still still cooking. Uh, sun Sun's on it, so it's gonna be great. We're gonna put these panels on tomorrow. We got a trench inspection in the morning. And uh, doing good. Everything's great. We'll see you. See you tomorrow. All right, day two. We just uh, passed our rough in inspection. Blasted through all the customers' irrigation pipes. Had to fix them. That's always fun. We're paneling the array. It's 32 400 watt panels. We got 12.8 kilowatts of awesomeness. And, uh, whoa, Abraham's got a fishing pole. Yeah. Uh, and we're um, beginning to wire this array. Well, not quite, but we've got uh, two guys from uh, a former, it's kind of wild. Ten years ago, I worked with these two guys for another company. And now uh, they're helping us out. So they got lots of experience. And I didn't ask if you ever wanted to be on YouTube. I'm not pointing this camera I, at you. I don't, so. I don't care. Okay. No one's looking for me anymore. Okay. <laughs> no one's looking for him anymore. He's not on the wanted list. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we just blasted through that one. And we blasted through that one. And then we blasted through that one. And then we uncovered, we're putting the generator out here. We're doing a 20K Cummins. We're just doing a little bit of everything. And what I can't, oh, we wanna see something really bad? Something really ugly? I haven't figured out how I'm gonna fix it yet. But I didn't catch it in the packaging. This is the great shipping that we work with today. People just sticking forks in everything. I guess it's done now, we'll stick a fork in it. Oh, sliced right through the beautiful little Cummins generator. So we're gonna have to do a little body work. We might have to put a little panel on that or wait 20 more weeks for the generator. It took forever to get. And so I gotta run this by the customer. Oh, and then we're gonna pipe power around. I'm hooking it up. If he wants to replace it, that's another, we'll deal with it. And look at the size of this dog. That is not a horse. Hey Max, how you doing? Come on puppy, you just sunning yourself. We're gonna put a 200 amp service entrance transfer switch in here. We're gonna, we'll show you what we're gonna do. Come on, Max, show everybody how big you are. You're a gigantic dog. So the woes of these installs, damaged equipment that you can't get today. So wah, wah, I know I'm whining. And, uh, but we have, it's always good to pass inspection. So we are, um, we did inch and a quarter this time. We didn't do two inch, Johnny. And um, we didn't need to, we just gotta pull four tens in the ground. So we're gonna come up here, get into the attic, and then take those solar strings over to Mr. Willis over here. Oh, Willis is rocking out. Better not catch him with his, might catch him with his pants falling down again. Dang, you never know when I'm gonna show up with a camera. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great, he says. 
Oh, great. So he moved the Rainbird over because that was in the way. He put our transfer switch where it's nice and accessible. Thanks, boss. And uh, got some long, long nipples on the on the Solark. We're going to put their arc batteries over here. And then we've got to get some, well, we're going to bring the solar probably right down from the attic. We're going to come down there and then... We need to take a battery charge. We're probably going to do two of them right next to each other. We'll talk about that in a bit. All right, we're here at the beginning of day three. Just hooked up the batteries to the Solark, and we're, we're juicing them. How about that? Almost nine kilowatts going into these lithium batteries. Pretty awesome. On the ARC batteries, when the screen is flashing, it's that means it's charging. We just started, just turned them on, they were at 50%, and they're all balanced out nicely, all flashing at me. Good job, Arc Batteries. We are very happy with these. We just need more of them. Okay, this is awesome. What you got going on, Willis? Willis is loading the, uh, landing the, the neutral in the ground, we gotta wait to land these two pots in the secure leg panel until we take Yeah, them. we're gonna... Thankfully, sometimes the home is set up... This is a 400 amp service, and there's two panels side by side, so it's easy to make a critical loads panel out of one and keep your heavy, heavy loads in the main. We put our CTs on our main so we can offset the usage for the house, and then we're about to put a Cummins generator transfer switch in, which will run the house but we can also bypass and run the whole place on the generator and also use the generator for charging batteries because we split off on our on our pdb so kind of complained about these 10 inch gutters but there's lots of room to work in them so yeah we're just juicing man that is just holding it that is awesome so take you out here to show you the array Hello, Abraham. Hello. And, um, oh yeah, she's a juicing. 32 panels, 12.8 kilowatts, and it's putting nine kilowatts in the battery right now. All right, so we're, ah, oh, this is day, beginning of day four for this installation. And we're turning things on, pulling wires in. We'll get everything roughed in, inspection tomorrow. Generators are always finicky and we're trying to work with a propane company to get us gas tomorrow but i don't know if that's going to happen but we'll have the electrical done it's got a little 20 kw and the reason we're doing this generator well for one reason it's uh there's a lot of load there's a big house and we need a little help with the air conditioning so we got that that will fire up and but we're going to minimize its usage by going solar on as much of the house as we can run we've got a 200 amp service entrance disc uh, transfer switch for the cummins and picked up my myers hubs this morning so we're gonna nipple over here mount the transfer switch we're gonna come down and then we're gonna hand dig around to the generator and drop that conduit in we've got our ac disconnect the pipe you might have seen it we came through with this little j box so we're gonna pull um, battery charging circuits from the critical loads panel and we're gonna get that over into this so we can pull everything. We're gonna pull uh, controls, power, and all, and, and all those goodies. And then we're gonna disconnect the B, A, uh, we're gonna disconnect the B panel. We're gonna leave the A on the mains, disconnect the B inside and outside here. And then we're gonna hook on with our Polaris lugs and we're gonna then go over to the transfer switch and then back to those. Yeah, we'll uh, Polaris lug the L1, L2 out of the panel and connect it here as load. And then the line will be back. And we've got, I've got three out copper and I got some four out aluminum. I think we have enough either way we wanna do it. Okay, so we should be able to get this thing we'll definitely need tomorrow for some testing i hope they can get the gas but they they're not moving too fast and they're not here so we'll see but we'll we'll be able to at least test the controls 
electrically if she'll start. Uh, we'll know we're pretty good. All right, let's get to work. Okay, two day rough in. We got the um, inverters in the mechanical room. We got our rough in inspection. We got the trench, fixed all the irrigation, tested that, built the array. It's a 12.8 kilowatt. Those are 32 panels, four strings of eight. Got the Cummins generator. Oh, that shipping damage. Love that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that right there. Oh, it's awful. Anyway, um, we're going to fix it. And we'll come back. I think we have everything we need to finish. And uh, this came out pretty good. Pretty happy with it. These are uh, Silfabs. Silfab panels. We still need to put piece of strut and a clamp on there and then we'll wire it we didn't get to wire it but we know what we need to do that's the hardest part the beauty of the driver no concrete no mud so let it rain we don't care just pound them posts in so uh we went seven foot in the ground with this one and it was about 18 inches of drop so it came out really nice all right, we don't usually start a job on a Thursday, but we just had to. I had that fortress webinar and some other things, just had to do it, Labor Day. You know how it is. So we'll be back to wrap this up. We hope lots of testing, generator testing, inverter testing, putting four ARC LFP batteries on it. We got work to do. All right, it's a wrap on another system. And uh, just wanted to get back out here once the propane company set the regulator for my gener generator. See how I said mine? I'm very possessive and of my installations. Um, cats have used this as a perch, muddied it up nicely. They finally set the generator. I got the, um, set the regulator. Generator is ready to go. It has been tested and uh just programmed it and got the exercise clock ready to go and uh here this this system we did put an automatic transfer switch in the cummins we have our ac disconnect our transition box this is a battery charging circuit that goes so there's battery charging control wires for the transfer switch and the power wires in that one conduit and so we're just this is just a wrap up um, system's been performing wonderfully and customer is very happy with how much power he is not paying for so we haven't seen a bill yet but we've been watching it on the power view app and he's going to be happy when he sees his first bill i hope again the solar 12k the arc batteries this system is one of them, one of our favorite type of installations single bat single inverter single array we have uh, critical loads panel, main panel, bypass, solar coming in, added a little extra battery capacity, and so that'll perform extremely well. We've got generator backup for charging if we need to for any long-term outage. I've been watching the system just boogie. It's raining right now and still bringing in 1.7 kilowatts, pretty much offsetting the, the usage in the home. I've been watching it on the PowerView app and just watching it really dump power back to the utility. So I'm pretty excited for their first bill, first full month bill of uh, using the system. So everything's working as it should. So it's great. Um, so Solark's done an awesome job, continues to. I'm really looking forward to, they got a, a smart module coming out that can hook to two panels so instead of doing a critical loads panel i could add this smart module that could allow load shaving i'll get into it i might be a beta tester here in about a month and that's another whole project um, that's coming up as they come out with a 15k and a smart module load shaving module and that's going to be fun but this has been our kind of bread and butter cookie cutter system works extremely well oh, thankfully these arcs are coming back in stock and um, so if you need help or you want to tackle one of these yourself, we'd be happy to help you. We can supply everything from wire troughs to bypasses, 
We don't supply standard electrical equipment like EMT pipes and connectors and fittings, but everything related to the solar project we can help you with. All right, this is Engineer 775, signing out.